Hey, wonderful people. Look, no clapperboard. I've sorted it out. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> An update on BLC1 and finding extraterrestrial technological signatures. Oh, yes. First of all, a second and big shout out to Zabina Horsenfelder. Thank you very much, Zabina. That was great. She got back to me and accepted that interesting things are going on in the EU as a German citizen. Uh, I thought she would have mentioned that, but she didn't. But now she knows about Astrum in the Netherlands, Germany and France, who are being funded by the EU Horizon Fund for interesting radio telescope research. And another news item for me, which turns out to be a bit disappointing. Remember I showed you this, the BLC-1 signal with its audio? Well, it turns out that it was labelled BLC-1 signal and audio, but in fact, it was a graphic and audio design, not the original signal. It's been a real roller coaster week for me. I get emails from media organisations wanting to write newspaper articles about extraterrestrial technological contact. I think that's absolutely wonderful. We are living in a time where we can confirm extraterrestrial non-human intelligence in our own galaxy. We now have the tools to detect a possible radio signature in the electromagnetic spectrum. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its infrared sensor, can now be used to detect the spectral analysis of atmospheres on exoplanets looking for signs of life. So it's not going to be just one signal that proves that we're not alone in the universe. It's going to be an amalgam of all that good science that right now is finding early clues that life exists in our galaxy. Oh boy, we do live in interesting times, and that's reflected today by two reports. One from the Vatican advising its bishops how they should react when we find evidence of extraterrestrials, and a fascinating brand new report issued by the Department for Science, Innovation and Technology in Britain, advising the current British government how Britain might exploit the fact that there's alien technology out there. That's really interesting. So let me go upstairs to the edit suite and read you some extracts from the Vatican paper and the Department for Science, Innovation and Technology report. And a very interesting letter from Nick Pope, ex-MOD UFO desk, who has some very interesting views on us finding ET. Here's the Vatican report, published in May 2024 covering supernatural occurrences and the possibility of contact with aliens. If the extraordinary event involves any findings of an organic nature that require special laboratory and, in any case, technical scientific investigations, the Commission will entrust the study of those elements to genuine experts in the relevant area of investigation. As a rule, these potential conclusions do not include the possibility of declaring that the phenomenon under discernment is of supernatural origin, that is, affirming with moral certainty that it originates from a decision willed by God in a direct way. The phrase in the midst of used in the new norms clarifies that even if the event itself is not declared to be of supernatural origin, there is still a recognition of the signs of the Holy Spirit's supernatural action in the midst of what is occurring. When spiritual experiences are accompanied by physical and psychological phenomena that cannot be immediately explained by reason alone, the Church has the delicate responsibility of studying and discerning these occurrences carefully. My interpretation of what the Vatican is saying in that report is that aliens are also the children of God. And here's the UK Department for Science, Innovation and Technology advisory report to the current UK government on contact with aliens. Scientific disciplines needing more funding. Radio astronomy. Increased funding would support the development and operation of radio telescopes capable of detecting and analysing signals from distant planets. SETI. Search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Funding would be needed to expand SETI programmes and initiatives aimed at detecting potential signals signal processing and data analysis. Additional funding would support the development of advanced signal processing techniques and algorithms for analyzing and interpreting radio signals from space. And here is the Chinese FAST radio telescope report confirming 
that they are looking for alien technological signatures. So I reached out to Nick Pope to ask him what's going on. Simon, here are some thoughts, which you're free to quote in whole or in part. If a radio signal has been found, the scientific protocol would be to verify it and then publish the data. While not legally binding, the SETI Institute's Declaration of Principles Concerning the Conduct of the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence is the document that most people engaged in this type of research would look to. I don't believe that the US presidential election or the ongoing conflicts in the Middle East or Ukraine have a bearing on the timescale. One factor that might have a bearing on timing relates to a scenario where the assessment is that we're looking at not just a signal, but a message or a vast amount of information, an Encyclopedia Galactica, for example. In this scenario, it would be prudent to have a go at decoding the message before making an announcement, in case it contains a truth too terrible to be told. It's just speculation, of course, but suppose there's information that states life on Earth was created by an extraterrestrial civilization as a science experiment. But the experiment has been deemed a failure and is about to be terminated. One could imagine other scenarios too, where a degree of caution might be called for before dumping all the data into the public domain. Nick Pope. Wow, that was an interesting statement, Nick. And those reports were really fascinating. You might have noticed that I've changed the name of my channel to Simon Holland Science Filmmaker. I got so peed off with Brits saying, you're not a professor, when actually I probably always have been. But whatever, life goes on. Anything that I've talked about today, I want to answer your questions. Leave a comment and I'll get back to you. And if you're enjoying this breaking roller coaster science news, please subscribe with notifications turned on. And remember, because of you, the truth is out there. Mm -hmm.